Where does it sit on, in the scriptures? Right here. See that? We're beaten, we were put on plantation, we were transported from different locations once we were sold, and we're brought to different plantations. You understand that? That history is our history. So what did he say to people that went through this in the Bible are called? He said, what, he said what? The people that went through these things in the Bible that you just said, what are they called? What nations are they? Give me uh, 20, don't what? Let me show you. The book of Deuteronomy. Uh, check this out. One on one. One on one, my bad. One on one. The book of Deuteronomy, okay. chapter 28 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. You hear that? He's saying that these be the words. Everything that he just mentioned, going on slave ship, you understand that? If we didn't keep God's laws, he said, that's the word that he spoke to the nation of Israel. So if that happened to all four parents and we came over here in slave ship, who are you, my brother? Israel. You're an Israelite. Say it loud and strong, brother. Because guess what? Today you found out that you're not a black American, African American. You're not a nigger. You're not none of those derogatory terms. You're not an African either, I'm brother. An Israelite. You're an Israelite. Okay. The word Africa came from Leo Scipius Africanus, a yeah, Roman general. Yeah, that out. Africa yeah, in the Punic, Second Punic War. You understand that? Yeah, that's a okay, so check this out. I'm going to show you some more. Give me 28 and verse 16. Because I want, to, I want to make sure when you leave here, you have a good understanding that this Bible is only for us, brother. All right? No. It's all only this, for us? Yes, it's only for us. I'm going to prove it to you. Let me ask you this. Did anybody, any other nation you know of went into slavery and slave ship no. like us? No. So the Bible is only talking to the people that the persons belong to. You understand that? Verse 16. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 16. Listen to this. Curse shalt thou be in the city. The Bible says the children of Israel, who are the blacks and Hispanics and Native American today, will be cursed in the city. Now, if you want, I know in New York, right? When tourists come to New York and they go on bus tours, they got tours that take them in the hoods of New, of, of New York. Who do you think they're going to look for when they go there? The blacks and who else? Uh, the Hispanics. The Hispanic. Those are the neighborhoods that they go around and tour. They make a lot of money. Why? They be, why? why? Because the Bible said we are going to be abused by these people. You understand that? Uh, why? Because guess what? Read verse 15 again. Verse 15. Let's see why they make money off you. Read it again. But it shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe to do all his commandments mm -hmm. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses mm -hmm. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. In Belgium, mm -hmm. right? In the early 1900s, we were zoos. We, they put us in zoos as animals, and white people would come and guess what? Look at us. They paid to come watch us in a zoo. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we broke God's laws. Do you understand that, brother? Understand That's that. why we are in the hoods, the ghettos of America, because we broke God's laws. Guess what? When we travel, anywhere in the world we go, we know we, we know where to go and find our people. Do you understand that? Because they're always in the lowest state in any nation that they're in. Do you understand that? Deuteronomy chapter uh, 27. Verse 27. No, no, no. Deuteronomy uh, 4 and 20, 27. Let me show you what, what the Bible says. This is a prophecy from our God. He said, guess what? Check this out. I'm going to scatter you because you broke my law. Listen to this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter thee. Can do what? The Lord shall scatter you. Hey, my brother, how you doing, man? We're out here showing you history according to the Bible. All right? And it has a lot to do with what? Slavery. All right? Read. Listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 27. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. You hear that? We are in every nation on the earth. That's Read. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. Whether the Lord shall send you. You understand? Every nation that we're in, we're always the least amount. You understand that? They Guess what? They put us, they, what do they call them? They, in some cases, they call it redlining. But we're always put in a certain area of that country, and we're treated the worst. It's talking about the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. My brother, what's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Do you believe that we as a people are the low state in this country? Yeah, right? Last hide, first fight. We're the ones getting shot down in the street. No justice, no peace, right? Give Ant let's, let's Anthony, verse 15. Let's Anthony hear it again. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses 
shall come upon thee and overtake thee. My brother Anthony, you believe we are cursed as a people with all the stuff that we, we go through? Yeah. And my brother, how you doing? My brother, my brother, my, come over here, brother. Talk, come talk to me. Right here, brother. We are good. Yeah, we are, we are over here showing the, our people what we're going through. Black people, do they go through things that are that are, that the other nations don't go through? Yes no. or no? Black no. people don't go through the things that other I nations don't count don't go For example, are we the ones living the hood or white people? Which one? Both. Both to an extent. Both to an extent. Yeah, because one the majority side, of their people. Yeah. Do they live in the hood or the majority of black people live they, in the hood? We Which live one? in the physical hood, but they live in the hood in the mind. My brother. <laughs> um. Black people. They, okay, let me just be honest. They're really okay, there's, 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 there's more whites in this country than blacks, and there's more whites struggling. So. That's not true, brother. But, because the Bible doesn't uh, say no, 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 that. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me just you say this. Uh -huh. Let me just say this. Mm -hmm. There's more whites here in this country, and there's a lot of whites that are struggling, and then there's blacks that are struggling too. I'm not sure. And that's just the truth. Who run, like, who run this country? The whites. Okay. Now. Or. The or white the run, corporation. Okay, but who run the corporation? White folks, right? White folks, yes. Okay. They decide who gets what, right? That's they decide fact. where you live, yes. how much money you make. Right. Who suffer those things? I'm going to say blacks and whites. Verse 43. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 43. Let me see who decides where we live and where we don't live. How much money we make and how much money we don't make. Read. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high. The Chinese, are they from this country? No. No. Do they live better than us? Yes. Do they have more business than us? For who sure. gave them that permission? Who, who gave them the power to have money over you, better living condition over you? Who built this country? Who does that? The government. But who runs the government? The whites. Read. And thou shalt come down very low. We have to go to them for anything we want, right? We have to go to them for the banks, right? You want to open a business, you got to do what? You got to get a business license. Then you got to get a bank loan. Most of the time, we don't get it. That's a fact. But the Chinese, they have programs set up for them, so when they come here, they can set up in your neighborhood, taking your resources. Do you understand that? Read. <laughs> he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. Who's lending to you? Where's your bank? The Chinese have their own bank. White folks have their own bank. The Japanese have their own bank. The East Indian have their own bank. Where's our bank? The Bible said that's a curse, brother. You understand that? Read. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. You are going to always be at the bottom of society because what? You're under a curse. God, you are God's chosen people. But guess what? You are not keeping God's laws. So now, you, guess what? You're at the bottom of society. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. answer this for me. Okay. It's, it's, it, the fact that we are cursed. It can't be because of a specific people who... Why you look behind you when you're talking? You afraid somebody hear I'm you? I'm not afraid of nothing. nothing. Okay, brother, talk, talk to us. Because I done been through a brothers. lot. Come on. So I'm not afraid of nothing. Make, make it happen. But a certain people have insecurities about you, him, him, me. Why is that? Because they're... Because I, don't, I don't know why, but... Give me Deuteronomy 7. I'm going to show you why. They have I'm gonna show, insecurities. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you what they did to do that. All right? 7 and 6. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The most high God gave Moses a message to tell these people this message. Read it from the top again. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said we are holy. You know what the word holy means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it mean? What do, I can't give you the, the, the direct definition. What does holy mean? Uh, the mind. Uh, uh, give me that. Let me show you. Let me show you what 20 and 26. I'm going to show you what holy means. I'm going I'm to show you something, brother. I'm, I'm here for we, it. You don't understand how great you are, brother. That's the problem. No. That's the problem with a lot of our people. We don't. That's why we're out here doing this crap right here. This is not greatness, brother. This is evil and wicked. You understand that? we celebrating a holiday that has nothing to do with us. I'm not I'm, I'm right, Read that. I'm Listen, not this the book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 26. You know? mm -hmm. And ye shall be holy unto me. He was talking to you, brother. He said, you shall be holy unto him. That's the most high God. Read. Mm -hmm. For I, the Lord, am holy. You know why? Because he's the God of us and us only. Right. You understand that? Read. Mm -hmm. It has severed you from other people. Read it again. It right. has severed you from other people. What does the word severed mean? Cut. If I take a machete and sever your arm, what happens? 
I separate you from your body, right? God said he severed us from the other nations. We're not like them. We're the greatest people God ever put on the earth. Right. Guess what? A couple years back, weren't they fighting for us not getting into ice hockey? And ice skating and swimming. All these things, whenever we take over, we, we take over, right? Because you're great. We're the greatest people on the planet. God said he created us. And he separated us from the other nations. That's why they have insecurities about us because they know once they give us the leeway, we off. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.